The brightly colored ceramics of Mexican folk art are recognized around the world. The bold color choices, intricate and sometimes imaginative designs, like the sculpture above, make them popular collectibles. Each piece is unique and handcrafted, often using techniques that have been passed down generation to generation and are specific to a geographical region. Church with Doves by Gerardo Ortega is a wonderful example of Mexican folk art. Artist Gerardo Ortega is from Jalisco, Mexico, and used a technique known as barrovetos to create the colorful piece you see in the photo. Ortega is a fourth-generation sculptor and was taught this technique by his father. To create the sculpture, Ortega first kneads his clay into the desired shapes. The clay comes from the region of Santa Cruz de las Huertas. Once he completes his shapes, he sets them aside to air dry. The naturally black clay must be dried before it is placed in the kiln. If not, the pieces will explode during the firing process. Once they are dried to his liking, he paints the pieces and then applies a mixture of warm birch tree oil and egg whites to them. This mixture serves as a varnish. They are then placed in the kiln and fired at a low temperature. Once they have been fired, Ortega removes the pieces from the kiln. The completed ceramic will have a veneer-like look on its surface. Barrovetos is considered a special pottery technique because of the varnish and firing temperature. This type of varnish originated in the region making it unique. Combining the varnish with a low temperature in the kiln helps produce the finished lacquered look. The name betos originates from the Spanish word abedul, which translates to birch. Barro is the Spanish word for clay. Ortega's works are recognizable among other Mexican folk art pieces. He is known for his whimsical depictions of animals and people. While his subject matter may indeed be based on real animals or everyday people, their cartoonish appearance and exaggerated features are characteristics associated with his work. Gerardo is primarily known for his roosters, but he creates buildings, people, other animals, and religious figures. Do you think that the doves flying above the church are symbolic, or are they there just for fun? Do you have a special hobby, story, or recipe that has been passed down generation to generation in your family? <laughs>